acompañar la vida entera A ver si de una vez tú te decides What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you What's the matter with you Me besé con el lunar en tu cadera Alrighty folks, we are back on the zoo with the one and only Siete. Bienvenido al estudio. By the way, he's not just here, but he's also wearing the same shirt from the video that we just what? saw. What's the matter? I just realized. Hey. I'm sorry. Guys. What's no, the matter with you, straight. buddy? Huh? <laughs> so good. You came straight from the video. Uh, right from the video. Oh, we flipped no, him out and we put him right here. I actually do yes. wear the same clothes a lot. I'm sorry. Good. That's so really I, good. I do the same thing. Yeah. It's great for the environment. Exactly. So kudos for that. Good, yeah, good point. Okay. At the count of three, everybody. One, two, three. <laughs> Bueno, ay, ay. What's the matter? What's the matter? Featuring Fade. Fade, exactamente. Dude, it almost has 6 million views. What? Yeah, it's, yeah. Doing, it's doing well. It's doing well. It's a song that has a lot of components, a lot of different genres going on. You have, yeah. you have your, your your rocker thing, but you also here have the dancing, the reggaeton. You have yeah, all, there's a lot. On? There's actually roots reggae. Um, yeah. I, that's actually still today my favorite genre. You know, roots like old school Jamaica reggae, you know, and uh, I think that's always going to be there somehow. Now, what? besides yeah. this version, you also did what, a karma version, you call it? I call it the karma version because I changed the lyrics. That one is all roots reggae. Okay. And that one is, uh, you know, the, then asking the question, what's the matter, what's Amara? Uh -huh. Actually, ah, makes what's a, Amara, it, it, it kind of makes more okay? It kind of makes more sense because um, ahí estoy hablando de lo que está pasando en Puerto Rico. Why? Specifically, my country, you know, what's happening with El Señor Anaranjado de Peluca. I don't even want to say his name. ¿Quién uh, será? Hmm. Sí, el, el energúmeno. El de la Casa Blanca. El, 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 lo que hizo de aventar el papel. Sí, no, es un imbécil. ¿Puedo decir malas palabras? Yeah, no, no, you can't. We'll, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll get back into the amazing music, but since you brought it up, you brought up Puerto Rico and, and the orange hair, orange skin. Yes, man. yes. What, what, first of all, tell us what's going on in Puerto Rico right now. Right now. And how it's maybe affected you and your family. Uh, okay. I, I think everybody was affected one way or another uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the island. Um, over 70% of the country still have no power. And this is how many weeks or... It, we're on day 40, after? what? 41? Over a month. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and uh, the local government is not doing the job right. Obviously, uh, the U.S. Government, government is not doing it either. Puerto Ricans are going through the tough realization that we're going to have to build, rebuild the country from the bottom up right. and do it ourselves. So, toda la ayuda que puedan dar, unidosporpuertorico.com, there's a lot of... Uh, I, there's a lot of people doing really, really, really good um, initiativas. I don't right. know how to say that. Yeah, yeah, a lot <laughs> of good no, you know, yeah. charity yeah. work initiatives. Yeah, so find one uh, and please help because we do need the help. Yes. Right. Still, there's no potable water. There's a, the death toll is still counting. Growing. It's yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's let me bad. ask because you know you brought up. We've heard in this country, you know, especially here in LA, we hear about how the federal government has fallen short and and you know what uh, you know Trump. I'll say his name. How he mishandled the situation from, yeah. from his position. But you did point out that. Um, the local government is having oh, trouble. Yeah. So what, what, is, this, is this an opportunity for Puerto Rico to maybe not just rebuild the physical infrastructure, but to rebuild the way that maybe that, they govern themselves? Yeah, definitely. I think that if Puerto Ricans are smart enough, they, you know, we, can, we can do something really, <laughs> something that can really be good for us for once. Yeah. You know, uh, our relationship with the United States government has been very, you know, one-sided forever. And they've made us feel small, and they divided us, and we've been neglected, no? Yeah, oh, definitely. And and maleducados, malinformados, oprimidos, deprimidos. They're no. Pero they say divide y vencerá. No, no han ayudado. No, 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 no. Of course not. Es que no te quieren inteligente, no te quieren educado. Claro. Ellos te quieren tonto, wow. te quieren, <laughs> te quieren dependiente. Yeah. Ellos te quieren que seas codependiente. Entonces. Terrible. It's tremendo porque they have the Jones Act, they have all that happening. That right. it, we pay triple for what you guys pay. So and and we're not as you know, we're, it's a small country. What's the Jones Act? Uh, okay. Básicamente lo que dice es que todo lo que sale de, entra a Puerto Rico as being a U.S. territory. Right. Pues tiene que ser eh, de un barco que sea hecho por Estados Unidos con tripulación oh de Estados gosh. Unidos y dueño de Estados Unidos. So if we want to negotiate or receive help because of the hurricane from Colombia, Panama, Cuba, whoever, we can't. Primero tiene que pasar por Estados Unidos tiene que y pasar llegar por Estados en, Unidos. en barcos. And the libros. only help or anything that comes in is through United States ships and we pay taxes for that. Wow. Things that we make in Puerto Rico, they take it out and bring it back in and that's they crazy. charge that's us for it. That's they want to control you but they don't want to help you. It's right. Like, right. That's so, yeah. so basically... Um, 
You know? Well, look, I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell you what, one thing that Puerto, claro, what, no Puerto Rico's greatest país, export claro. right now is, is music and artists. That's right. And, you know, I've had the opportunity to interview people like Residente from Calle 13 yeah. and I'm talking to yourself. Puerto Rican artists are, have very strong sentiments about what's going on in their country some even before us, the circuit. Some, 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 <laughs> some, some, some of you guys. You know, I'm yeah. Cuban, so I consider myself like primos of you guys. We are. But w- do you think that now's really the time for Puerto Rican artists and people that have a voice on the platform to get together and really bring Puerto Rican issues to light through your music, through your art, or just through your voice and your platform? I mean, we're definitely trying, of mm-hmm. course. This is no better time than this one. But understand that in 1898, mm-hmm. since 1898, we were, uh, primero le pertenecíamos a los españoles and then to the United States. We, Puerto Rico doesn't have a culture of being self... Independent. Uh, self, yeah, to be independent, uh, to be free, to make their, its own decisions. Este es el peor momento para ser independiente. Claro. Pero si eso es lo que nos toca ahora, I'll take it. Well, I, I wasn't necessarily suggesting because now would be a really hard time, but I'm talking about for, for Puerto Rican artists to get together. I mean, together it should and, happen anyway. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, going to be a yeah, rough absolutely, start. Absolutely, it, it should. Absolutely, it should. Yeah. I mean, and you have a lot of Puerto Ricans that have been educated here in the United States that can go back. Of course. Of course. So let's bring it back to the music. Yes. I, and, I'm, and thank you for, for, for uh, starting off with some serious issues. I was issues. like, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Where's that money? <laughs> Give me some donations. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You guys are the voice for all these people yeah, with right. you know you have influence with your fans with people that follow you these are topics that y para la gente yeah. en la isla que de verdad no tienen so, no, yeah. no tienen ningún recurso to even get in touch with their family through yeah. a phone sí, sí. And, and those that don't really know me or my music I'm normally a pacifist and right. I'm in a very good mood <laughs> but uh, these things of course oh, yeah, right. anything has to do with human rights not just for Puerto Ricans you know it's, right. yeah, yeah. For real. Good stuff. But yeah. th- so stuff. tell us a little bit more about your music. Uh, you know, we heard uh, What's the Matter. Si. What's, What's the matter? matter? But take us back a little bit. Uh, you know, how did you develop your style over the years? Uh, mira. Oh, that's a good question. When I was a kid, mi mamá escuchaba, like, baladas and, and you know, eh, José Luis Perales, Angela Carrasco. My dad would Ooh, listen to... Old school. Old school. Yeah. <laughs> my dad would listen to El Gran Combo de Puerto Rico. Yeah. Uh, my uncles would listen to the Beatles and Bob Marley and all that. And... As I, when I was grow, growing up as a kid, there was a lot of salsa. There was a lot of, uh, for example, Bico C, who still right. Bico yeah, is like, right. mío, de residente, de todo el mundo, él es papá. Right. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, Bico is, a, you know, I think it's very powerful in, in, our, in our musical, in my musical foundations. And then I, was, I would start playing rock with different rock bands. I played with an Indian orchestra for wow. a while, symphonic orchestra. That was an amazing experience. I played with an R&B group. Then and then with a hip hop group, and then I kind of got out of all of it and rediscovered reggae. And I loved the you know the simple and powerful statement that Bob Marley and, and right. other many artists put out there. And I was like, that's what I want to do, but with my own little twist. Twist to it. You know, you're gonna hear sets, you're gonna hear everything in there. So. Now I gotta do a switcheroo. I'm gonna pull a little line change here. Um, Bruno, since you're kind of, you, you guys are matching Dennis, can you switch with Yeah, of course. Door? Vivian, you always, you always stay in the middle. No, you're, you're the, <laughs> Should Vivian, I stay in the yes, middle? Yes, you're, you're always in between everything. So yeah, we're gonna have a very <laughs> compliment. They're very but compliment now that looks like something, yeah. Wow. So it's, tell us, we were talking a little bit before, but, but tell us about your style and who styles you and also uh, maybe yeah. how it influences your music or how your music influences. I think it's uh, my music influences <coughs> style. Um, I don't know anything about style or, or fashion or anything. It's, this is all my wife. She's uh, amazing. Yeah, she, she's That's actually nice. a fashion designer. And she, before she became my manager, she was for years a fashion wow. designer. Wait a minute, she's so, your manager? Of course she is. So, ella es la que tiene los pantalones en casa, es lo que quieres decir. Yo diría que sí. It's okay, yeah. It's okay, sí, te Listen, if you can't trust your wife to manage you, then you can't trust anybody. I actually yeah. think that's a good move. Wife, are you a top <laughs> manager? Yeah. Huh? Yes, and she's uh, laughing back there. Stuff. And so, um, the shirt with the job. you know the tie dye and all the thing that's our daughter Paola. She cool. specializes in that. It, it, she makes them herself. Yeah, actually, yeah. it's P A L Pal Pal Tie Dye. You, it's, oh, she cool. has her own oh, Instagram thing. Nice. Check it out. Uh, she's Check awesome. Good stuff. Right, I gotta, wow. I gotta notice you're also a very esoteric guy. And I'll tell you because I know a lot of symbology. I mean, I have like some stuff. Uh, like you know, if, if I have that on me, then I'm gonna uh-huh, recognize right. that this is the third eye, the Freemason yeah, stuff. Yeah. Are you a Freemason? No, no, no. I don't like labels. Okay. But okay. do you know? Oh! Are, are you into? Oh, but are you into like labels. esoteric? Because I see the evil eye here. I see that's the yeah, thing from the. These are most. Most of these things are gifts. Um, I'm a spiritual guy, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I don't. I think that every time we try to 
label things right. or, or, or put them in a, in a, in category. a category we're limiting but in. are you into like reading because you know like I mean wearing a lot of a lot yeah. of these esoteric symbols and mystical symbols are you into like learning yeah. about them I not can, necessarily you yeah know, being um, part of anything them. anything that's information I, I, I would definitely learn it and it's anything that has to do with spirituality I've, I've uh, bro I've met people that can do really amazing stuff like magical stuff yeah so mm. I believe that anything is possible but not that I'm going to like, and now I want to be. Th no, right. I, I mean, I have friends that are from every religion. I have friends that are, of course, from every different, you know. Well, you're wearing multiple spirit. I mean, so right. I saw it shows you're not part of any one thing not, because you yeah. have like three different uh, things. I think I'm with everyone. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. that's what it is. I mean, but, but the uh. thing is that we all are with, right. you know, it, it's, it's not you, me, it's us. Right. We're all together. It's, this is all an illusion. Nah, well, I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. This is all BS. I'm with that. This is all. Well, well yeah, no, this is like not a real wall. Yeah, this is a it set. is an illusion. You've talked about like your mother, you know, raising you to just really focus on being happy. You know, that no matter what, you know, what else happens, it, happiness is like the main focus. Is the fame just an added bonus to it? That I think that's every human being on earth is here to be happy. That's all we need to do. The rest we don't really know. You know, how do you define success? How, you know, you're not supposed to. You weren't born to be a millionaire. You weren't born to be important, not famous. You were born to be happy. Mm -hmm. And whatever gets you there, that's what you have to do. I think that's the only goal anyone has in life. That's yeah. very Buddhist. Um, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Actually. There we go. See, See? there's another Three label. <laughs> we know it. But, yeah, but, yeah, levels. but, yeah, but, but I, I learned a lot from my Buddhist friends, definitely. That's absolute happiness, what and, they uh, call it. Do you think it has to do a little bit with the fact, I mean, I don't know if a lot of people know, but you lost your home just trying to, like, pursue your dream. Exactly. And Can you tell us how that lost, happened? My mom just lost her home at the hurricane. Oh, my gosh. But you are not your circumstances. You are you. Pero no te dio miedo, no te, no te, no perdiste la esperanza, no te volviste un poquito loco. No, porque no es la actitud, la buena actitud que tienes. Bueno, well, there, there must be a little bit of, Sí, me know, preocupé. I did get yeah. worried, especially thinking about my kids. Los dos ya habían nacido. But if I don't believe it's possible, then why am I trying? Right. You know, exactly. you, you, you got to try it. It's all, it's all, es toda una cuestión de actitud, es toda right. una cuestión de la mente. And um, if you want to be happy, be. Oye, ¿y crees, por ejemplo, ahorita que estamos hablando de estos labels y así, estábamos hablando del número 7, sí. ¿va? Que oh. Porque nació el 7 de julio, ¿puedo decir el año? 26 de julio del 77, claro que sí. Ajá, ah, sí. Eh, julio, oh. del, julio 7, de 7, 1977. 7, 7. So uh, like lucky 7, is that what Well, 7 is a holy number in a lot of these religions. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. But, so, tú me <laughs> estabas contando que nos ibas a contar la historia de cómo ha estado el número 7 presente en tu so vida. Funny. El tema de el, en los Grammys te pasó, él ganó un Grammy. El no, Grammy me, nos tocó en la, en la habitación 3400, uh -huh. no, que okay, 347. Ok. Este, yeah. lo, al final, la banda que, que se conformó para tocar ahí éramos 7. Nos tocaba en la 103 y 4 cuando nos tocan la ceremonia. Oh, Jesus. Este... Y por ahí muchas otras cositas. Wow. Que, que el 7 siempre está ahí. ahí es. y, no, y de nuevo, no es, que, no es que creo en numerología. Right. But I was like, that's a cool coincidence. Yo te voy a pedir los números de suerte, ¿ok? Tú sabes que uh, <laughs> eh, es loco porque en cosas de la, del azar y de suerte uh -huh. nunca he tenido buena suerte. Oh, really? <laughs> Pero para mi suerte en la vida sí. Claro. All right, and now you're here in the zoo. And, yeah. uh, you know, we'd be happy if you can play us out. We're going to oh, get yeah. your guitar over there. Bring it. All right. Yay! Thank you. Thank you Let's very much, Fabricio. I'm gonna make a video. Well, this is gonna awesome. be then the, the karma version of Wasamara. Uh -huh. It's así. Hay dos mundos que no se juntan. Uno está de rumba, el otro se derrumba. Hay dos mundos que no se juntan. Uno está de rumba, el otro se derrumba. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Hay dos mundos que no se juntan, uno está de rumba, el otro se derrumba. En uno son famosos por talento, en el otro venerados porque enseñan los traseros. Uno tiene gente luchadora, el otro cavernícolas con computadoras. En uno tienen hambre y conocen el dolor, y el otro llora lagrimitas de reality show. What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you? What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you? What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? En uno todos son importantes, en el otro discriminan, divididos y distantes. En uno van sin miedo a lo que digan, en el otro se quieren photoshopear hasta la vida. En uno se cultiva la mente, y en el otro el teléfono es lo más inteligente. Como el viejito anaranjado y de mente, racista oportunista, jugando a presidente. Pretendiendo que tiene un 
dignamente Ponte pa' tu número, intenta ser decente Tu sentido común está ausente Tú jugando golf y no se arrastra la corriente What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you What's the matter, what's the matter, what's the matter with you What's the matter with you? Oh, nice. yeah.